Long hair don't care. A go ahead and hate, you get a cheap pass. Actually, go ahead, expire, Judas. I didn't think you would get that. Go ahead and laugh. Act like you know, pay attention, class. Long hair don't care. Steve Nash, light my blunt with the sun, use the moon to ash. Great beard of Zeus, I'm a big deal. Matt McConaughey on the track, time to kill. What's up, fuckers? Is your moon in Leo? Thinking that I'm gonna come over there for you. But this is my bedroom. It's like old times. My brother is a Leo moon sign. He is such an arrogant prick on the inside. My brother is like the nicest guy in the entire world. And that's why like I can't even sit here and say that, you know, as a Leo Moon, you're going to be like a shitty person. You're not a shitty person. It's just that when you think, you think for yourself. You're just kind of like, notice me, notice me. You have a Leo Moon? I'm like, I fucking hate your moon sign. You are very broad-minded, very creative. You love pleasure. You love a good drink. You love to get drunk. You love to hang out, have a good time. Surround yourself with pleasureful things. One of those things that you find pleasureful is a relationship. You see the people you're dating as ridiculously better than they actually are. This isn't like Pisces, rose-colored glasses stuff. This is like when you meet somebody, you fall hard for them. You can't even help it. You are super romantic. You think that the person that you've chosen is worthy of you. And if they're worthy of you, they must be fucking fantastic. And so, therefore, you treat them like they are fantastic. And I've known a lot of people with their moon and Leo to go through some pretty shitty breakups once they just realize that, oh no, you weren't what I wanted at all. We had a beautiful whirlwind romance that lasted six months and I was going to marry you or I did marry you. But now it's gone and I'm left with nothing except regret because I just fucking chose to be with somebody who sucked compared to what I thought. It's not necessarily that your person that you've chosen to be with sucks. It's just that on a scale of 1 to 10, you thought they were a 15 and they ended up being a 7. Lunar Leos want the 15 out of 10. That's what they're looking for. And when they find it, they'll do anything to get it. And I'm not even just talking about relationships. I'm talking about jobs. I'm talking about your living situations. I'm talking about your friends. You have very high standards. Yet, sometimes people will look at you and notice that you don't even live up to your own high standards. You just think that you deserve better than all the things that you have. Because you're a Leo moon and the world revolves around your mind. Not only are you highly intelligent, you know it, and no one else is as smart as you. No one else is as good as you. So you might be living in dog poop right now, but you know that that's not where you're gonna end up. So you choose to be with people who are just better than that. And you wanna surround yourselves with things that are better than that. You would never feel jealous if someone had something that you don't have, you just kinda wonder why they get it and you don't. You have a very good professional mindset. You are able to sell yourself like you can go into show business. you great at interviews, you're great at talking to people, you can manipulate the pants off anybody, and you know that. My brother and I were like best friends growing up. Our biggest fights happened because we were both very stubborn moon signs. I was a fixed Taurus, he's a fixed Leo. I thought everything that he did was stupid. And I'm sorry, I'm trying not to make you feel like I think you're stupid because obviously I don't think that's possible. I don't think that a Leo could feel stupid. Your mind is ruled by Leo. You feel like you're the smartest person alive. There is this really great picture of me and my brother sitting on the floor um, after we had just completed a puzzle. And my brother is standing there like this. And I'm sitting next to him looking at him like this. Somehow he made me believe that he finished that puzzle. I did that whole effing puzzle by myself. My brother took all the credit. And the thing is, he didn't mean to. He really thought he did the whole puzzle himself. Why? He's a Leo moon. For the most part, you're really good at confronting problems. You don't want to just sit there and let it happen and just be like, ooh, this problem sucks. What was my life? You want to make sure that problem no longer exists. If you, say, were not popular in high school, you would pretty much figure out a way to make yourself popular. This seems to be an issue. This doesn't seem right. You're in high school and you're not having the time of your life. I'm gonna make this happen. 
you know what I kind of like this person right here this person's in a relationship with someone else but I don't really care about that because I feel like I would be happier with that person I actually have seen many people with a Leo moon sign break up other relationships and they're good at it because they have a very suave personality this isn't all people with their moon in Leo and I'm not gonna say that I don't want people to all of a sudden be like your moon's in Leo you are a homewrecker what I'm saying is that you sometimes forget that other people have feelings because you're really worried about your own and making your surroundings more pleasurable you're not the most selfish person in the world you just don't realize when you're only when your mind is thinking about making your life happy it takes them sometimes longer to get where they need to be because of the instant gratification because they want to have their cake and eat it too and they want to eat it really really quickly and sometimes when you eat your cake really really quickly you get fat and then you miss out on that modeling contract with your moon and leo you dress in a certain way um you have a certain air about what you wear you do want to make sure that when you go out you're going to look your best. It's not that women wear a lot of makeup. Sometimes they don't wear any at all because Leo moons can feel like pretty down to earth and that they don't need all of that. But what they might do is wear flashy jewelry, big shiny flashy earrings. Maybe their hair is different. Anywhere Leo is, is where your hair follows. Like you are Lunar Leo, your hair is going to be lion like. Whether or not it's red or big. My brother just had big curly hair for a really long period of time and his hair was like a very important staple in the way he looked. Your mind does not think well when things are not going wonderfully around you. If you're not happy on the inside, you're not going to be happy on the outside. And one of your best qualities is how lovable you fucking are. Leo moons are loved by all because you are extremely powerful and happy and you're up for a good time and you want to have a nice time and because of that instant gratification you some you find yourself in kind of weird shitty situations because you feel like you need to be up for anything so where you have all these like really good traits in your mind you do come across as sometimes like a bully as someone who knows more my brother would he would go get milk from the fridge and I'd be like that sounds great. I'm going to get some milk from the fridge too. So I go and get the milk and he would shut the fridge on me and he'd be like, what do you think you're doing? I'm like getting milk. He goes, but I'm getting milk. And I'd be like, yeah, so you had a good idea. And he goes, why are you always copying me? And I was like, yeah, because I'm always copying you, Adam. I'm always copying you. I just wanted some milk because it looked like you had some too. He's like, no, you always do this. Yeah, because I'm always copying you, Leo Moon. I can't help it. You're just so amazing and you're just the center of attention no matter what you do. And you just always look better than everybody else. And I just am so jealous. I'm so copying you and I wish that I had everything you had. And the fact that I'm being so nice to you is because I wish I was you. And so it's kind of creepy. When in fact, you're kind of a little bit of a conceited bitch. Just kidding. <laughs> um, sometimes when your moon is in Leo, people can think that you're overbearing or, you know, in people's face too much, or you just try to steal the limelight and you, and you may not even feel like you are. You just feel you're trying to make your surroundings pleasurable. It's why you can be a great artist. Maybe you're like the, the lead singer for a band or something like that. Sometimes though you can get crazily arrogant about it and you don't even realize because you're just doing your thing. So that is one thing I would just tell you as a Leo Moon is to watch out like for other people. You are a good person. You know you're a good person. You're a nice person. You care for people. And you know that sometimes you care too much for people, especially in relationships. You know, you put them on these pedestals. But for the people that you haven't put up on the pedestal, you put them way down. Because if they're not going to add anything to your life, why do you need them? They aren't just here to serve you. Sometimes they have a completely different life path. And when they come across yours, you just need to be nice. And you need to allow it to happen. And then they'll leave. And you can go find somebody to worship you. But it doesn't have to be everybody. Time to kill.